Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video we are going to discuss Bitcoin Network. Bitcoin Network is built up of Bitcoin nodes and Bitcoin nodes include blockchain and some Bitcoin nodes doesn't include blockchain. We will have a look at it in this video. But before I jump in into this video I would like to give a shout out to Adventure Family. And this is one of channels which gave also a shout out to me. And this is very nice channel. Adventure Family guys come in and check this channel out. And this channel is posting very end entertaining videos and I would recommend anyone who is interested in entertainment nice family videos to check out adventure family subscribe to adventure family and now guys let's get into the video in this video we are going to talk about what is Nodes, what is Bitcoin Network and why Bitcoin Network can't be taken down by anyone, by governments, by banks, by anyone at all. But before we dive into lesson 5, this is a short reminder what is Bitcoin blockchain because you have to understand the difference that Bitcoin blockchain is not the same as Bitcoin Node because Nodes can include Bitcoin blockchain and there can be Bitcoin Nodes on Bitcoin Network which don't include Bitcoin blockchain blockchain so blockchain as you remember guys this is information about bitcoin transactions whichever has been executed very first block has the very first transactions and very last block which has been added it has the latest transactions which has been executed on bitcoin blockchain and each block includes the information about previous block so hash of previous block so block 5 includes information of block 4 and so on and so forth guys and first block is genesis block because it doesn't have a previous block now let's talk about bitcoin nodes on this slide in this powerpoint i have outlined different types of bitcoin nodes so as i will provide you a link at the very bottom you can see this link guys where you can read more technical details about bitcoin nodes how they work if you are interested in more technical details bitcoin network is made up of bitcoin nodes or different nodes which are parts of this network and these are nodes which are peer-to-peer -peer connected by using transfer control protocol and they can use different protocols in connecting to each other and these lines you can see here guys these could be these protocols which are used in this bitcoin network for connections but all nodes have different functionalities on this bitcoin network for example mining pool node can have mining functionality mining nodes separately there could be like thousands or millions nodes connected to this mining pool but they have mining functionalities this means that they are doing only mining but what these nodes are doing all the time they are exchanging information one to another now let's have a look what functionalities we have but all these nodes have networking functionality this is the first functionality which is and the only functionality which is included in each of nodes and there are 20 to 25 million nodes on bitcoin network already guys and what is bitcoin node nodes can have different roles on bitcoin network depending on functionality they support this is blockchain.info as you remember this was web where i was demonstrating you about blocks and when these blocks were mined and so on and so forth so pretty much blockchain.info is visual representation of bitcoin blockchain and this is also a node because it holds all information about bitcoin blockchain now let's get back to our slides guys and let's talk about nodes so there are four major functionalities nodes can have a full node this is another kind of keyword if you are new to bitcoin blockchain so full node includes all of these functionalities so first functionality is network routing and all of these nodes include this functionality second functionality is blockchain and not all of these nodes include full blockchain because for example wallet your mobile wallet wouldn't include full blockchain because full blockchain takes a lot of memory and mem mobile phones usually don't have a lot of memories full blockchain can be included in some nodes some of these nodes for example it could be included in blockchain.info uh, it could be included obviously in full node because it includes all four functionalities mining functionality is included in this and it would also include blockchain uh, functionality but for example miners they don't include blockchain functionality because it is not needed for them and then we have mining functionality for miners and wallet functionality
functionality if you are just interested in wallet like I mentioned for mobile and Bitcoin Core if you are interested you can download it by following this link here we go guys if you are interested you can download Bitcoin Core to and become a node and you will straight when you will download Bitcoin Node you will have for all of these functionalities and you will become a Bitcoin node and you will be connected to Bitcoin network and you can download it for Windows, Mac OS, Linux and, and Ubuntu and so on and so forth guys if you are interested just come in and you can click one of these downloads and you can straight away download it to your computer what is Bitcoin network? Bitcoin network is peer-to-peer -peer connection where these nodes are connected one to another like I was just demonstrating to you so this network network is Bitcoin network and this is running fully independently and there is no main nodes on this network all nodes are equal guys and this is very important to understand that each of these nodes and this is only a small part of nodes there, there are 20 million of them and I will not draw all of them obviously this is just an example to demonstrate you how approximately Bitcoin network works and what types of these nodes are available there for example blockchain.info node this is some node which includes a blockchain itself in it and then we have full node and you can download bitcoin node if you bitcoin core sorry guys if you are interested and you will have all functionalities included it so network routing full blockchain node mining uh, mining functionality no, and wallet functionality or lightweight SPV wallet if you are using a mobile or solo miner then you would have functionalities like network routing then you would have also included here miners functionality and there you would have also a blockchain functionality included in solo miner and mining pool node these lines guys these are connections between these nodes and like I said it is a huge this network is huge and one node is not connected only by three or four connections it's connected with about eight connections each if I open up a Bitcoin core which I already have downloaded to my computer it looks like this and if you hover here at the bottom right corner you can see that my Bitcoin core is up to date this means that all blockchain information all transaction information i have up to date and all blocks uh, all the recent transactions are up to date if i hover one more time no pay no pay attention that there is block processed 555,123 blocks if we go back now to blockchain.info website and let's refresh this page you will see that last block which has been mined is 555,123 and this is exactly the same number which is on my network uh, on my Bitcoin core guys so I am running a node and blockchain.info is also running a node only blockchain.info is a website which is kind of nice user interface where users like you and me we can go and check this information out in nice way where I also can check it on my node as you see 555,120 said uh, block was the last block which is mined and this is also as you can see here and it was mined 25 minutes ago another thing about Bitcoin core I will show you a little bit more information here if I hover this second icon you can see I have eight active connections and these connections are other nodes which have been connected to me and my this node is exchanging information with these all other nodes which are already on this Bitcoin network if we go back now to this slide guys you can see that for example you this is me me who downloaded this Bitcoin core and I have all these functionalities like wallet functionality as you already noticed that there is a wallet I can send Bitcoin if I want and here in this field I would type that person's public address Bitcoin public address who I want to send the Bitcoin to and here I can type in how much Bitcoin for example 32 Bitcoin or 0. Point something Bitcoin how much it doesn't matter how much Bitcoin I want to send to him and then I just click button send and I can send from this wallet or I can receive Bitcoin if I come here I have created here couple addresses like my ad and if I would want to create another receiving address to receive address to my Bitcoin wallet and I can create as many as I want uh, here these addresses or my public keys and private keys are getting stored also with me and in one of my future videos I will also show you where are those private keys but like wallet 
tool, let's say, and uh, I will create request payment. And here is another address which I just now created, guys. So I have wallet true. If I will go, as you can see, wallet two, and here I have address. If I would want to see it, I just double click on it, and I can see it also. If I can create unlimited amount of these wallets which I want to create here on this Bitcoin core, and if I want to send, I can send. And here on transaction history, I see all transactions, how much Bitcoin I have been sending, how much Bitcoin I have been receiving in this wallet. And overview is where you can see all your balances, where is all your Bitcoin balances represented to you. As you can see, I don't have here anything because I downloaded this Bitcoin core just for purposes of demonstrating this in this video. But you can use it and this is one of the way to use and send and receive Bitcoin however me myself I'm using a cold storage and how to store and buy and sell Bitcoin we will talk in one of my future videos but here main thing is to understand that my Bitcoin core is like this you for example and why Bitcoin network can't be destroyed by governments by anyone at all is exactly because of functionality how Bitcoin network is working because these nodes in doesn't matter what functionality they are doing they are talking and exchanging information one to another even if my bitcoin for example wallet will go down my bitcoin core will go down and or i will switch it off even next time when i will come back online it will again be connected with other nodes and they will update my wallet or my node with latest bitcoin transactions with latest bitcoin information in what has happened on bitcoin so imagine guys if you are a government and you would want to close down bitcoin network it, which contains like consists of 20 25 million of these nodes you would have to go at the same time at the same time to 25 million people you would first need to find out who is using them these nodes who and where they are working and then you would have to go to all of them at the same time and this is the only way how you can switch off or destroy bitcoin network if you close down them at the same time guys if you will close only 20 million out of 25 million or 24.991 and even if two or one nodes will be left in network then those other other nodes when they will again be downloaded and then when they will go up online guys they will again get information from these two nodes which are left on bitcoin network so this is huge power and bitcoin network can't be taken down by anyone because there is no main node or nodes with more privileges than other nodes because all nodes all they do they are exchanging information about transactions about blocks which have been mined they they are kind of also this is like mempool which we were talking about because when transaction is being made on bitcoin blockchain it is getting broadcasted to all these nodes so all these nodes that there is and confirm transaction and then miners come in they take this transaction put the put the transactions into the block and then they mine the block when we will talk about mining probably in next video guys how mining works and then they uh, confirm transaction and add it when they have done a mining so you can see that blockchain is running independently and this is why it is known as decentralized blockchain decentralized blockchain not like ripple we will talk about other but centralized blockchain technologies but this is decentralization power that nobody is in control of this blockchain and nobody can affect this blockchain and nobody can take down this blockchain and there is no main nodes on this blockchain this blockchain is consisting of different nodes guys with different functionalities there are some simple nodes which simply have a wallet there are nodes which are mining there are nodes which have full functionality who are pretty much supporting this block blockchain but nobody can take down this blockchain and nobody has a full or better power or less power or anything uh, at all guys everyone has equal rights for example i am running bitcoin node and this is full node this is also what you have to remember that full node is which includes all functionalities like mining like wallet like blockchain and routing is included in network routing is included in all of these nodes and one more thing what i wanted to talk about is about protocols which they are using usually as you can see these green lines these are kind of protocols which are used to connect these nodes one to another 
and here we have three protocols one is bitcoin protocols and we have stratum protocol for networks and i will leave you a link to learn more about this stratum protocol and how it works if you are interested and then we have pool mining protocol and as you can see here on this network guys we have here this blockchain.info and this pro this line would be like bitcoin protocol peer-to-peer -peer protocol to, to connect these nodes one to another and the other these like for example full node will also connect a mining pool to this and this would also be a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer protocol so and here if we are paying attention to mining pool node then these three mining nodes which are connected to it they are using different protocols they are not using peer-to-peer -peer protocol but they are using pool mining protocol that particular pools mining protocol to connect that particular uh, pool guys and what miners are doing pretty much this is a software they are running a hardware pretty much computers to mine bitcoin to do bitcoin mining and they are using their processing power and that processing power is dedicated to this all mining pool and they are get, getting equal parts from mining bitcoin for example this mining pool has mined the block and it has received 12.5 bitcoin so that 12.5 bitcoin would be separated between all these mining nodes plus th those mining nodes would pay some fee to the pool mining pool node itself guys so they leave some fees for that pool power guys so solo miner would do mining on its own so it would include in its node network routing functionality it would include full blockchain and it would include mining functionality guys and one more important thing just to remember is that not all nodes include all blockchain as we remember that blockchain and nodes bitcoin network is two different things like bitcoin network is the network which runs uh, different nodes and blockchain is just a ledger or distributed ledger which can be included in some nodes and it cannot be included in other nodes like for example lightweight node spv wallet there is no blockchain in included and if you are interested to learn more about nodes how what types of nodes are how exactly they are connecting more technical details what information they are requesting one from another like for example version of the node and so on and so forth follow this link at the very bottom guys i will leave this link also in description of this video come in and check this out for yourself and this link is to this article which it describes in greater detail about nodes here are these four functionalities like wallet functionality minor functionality full blockchain map functionality and routing functionality which can be included in one node and full node like bitcoin core as you can see here guys includes all of these functionalities this like full blockchain node includes only networking functionality and blockchain functionality and solo miner node includes like mining functionality networking functionality and blockchain functionality and then we have lightweight spv wallet and it includes only networking functionality and wallet functionality and here is the graph how it is in greater detail described so as all descriptions here how the, these are co uh, connecting what that they are asking to each other as you can see guys they are talking to port and the address and there is uh, here is actually code at the bottom where you can see how it is being requested in code and this is for more technical people so yes guys i hope that you have learned something in this video and if you did leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel and see you in my next lesson